We're approaching prom season around the country and in Washington, D.C. That means Nerd Prom, also known as the White House Correspondents' Dinner, the annual fair, which has become known for its strange mix of Hollywood elite mingling with Washington power brokers, is set for tomorrow night. This year's host duties go to Saturday Night Live's Cecily Strong, only the fourth female to play that role. Our own Rodan Farrow sat down with her before the big night and talked some 2016 politics. Give me your thoughts on Ted Cruz. Very funny president or unfunny president? Unfunny. Rand Paul. Funny that, president? That'd be funny, maybe. Yeah, that's a funny president. He's got that goofy little silly dad who's so endearing. Marco Rubio. Funny president? Oh, no, not yet. But he can surprise me. Okay, yeah. okay. Hillary Clinton. Would I she make a funny she president? Would- Die to make a funny president, but I don't know that she can be. <laughs> Does she have it in her? Uh, she wants to. She'll have She's some gonna mom try. jokes. She's going to try rock hard. The mom jokes. Yeah, she sure will. She's going to keep <laughs> trying. And one of these days, one of them is going to land. <laughs> Let me bring in MSNBC's Ronan Farrow and Elahi Zadi, Washington Post reporter and stand-up comic. Good morning, both. Good morning. Good, morning. Good to be here, Jose. So, Thanks, Ronan. So uh, how is Cecily Strong going to make Ronan Farrow and the rest of the press corps laugh tomorrow night? You know, in the full interview, which we'll have on this afternoon and in the run-up to the show tomorrow, she talked about what she wants most out of this event, and she said she just wants a diplomatic appointment, Jose. She's just going to ask for a lot of corrupt favors. I said, Belgium, here you come. She said, oh, yes, waffles. <laughs> I mean, that actually gets at a serious point. The, the power of a comedian in this role is to speak truth to power and, and poke fun at a, a, a core of government officials and Washington elites that perhaps needs it occasionally. I say this as a, as a minor league Washington alum myself. Maybe even <laughs> desperately needs it and, and often don't want to hear it. So it's a really, really tough room. The question is, how hard does that comedian go? There are examples like Stephen Cole bear where they go very, very hard on that room, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. kind of falls on deaf ears. It was a very awkward, silent room that year. Of course, subsequently online, that sp- routine gained a, a, a cult following. Cecily said she was amongst those. So we'll have to rate where she falls on that spectrum. My suspicion is she's not going to be scorched earth about this. She has sort of a, a nice brand of comedy. She'll get in some barbs, but I don't think she's going to go over the line. Interesting. Eli, Cecily Strong is only the fourth woman to host tomorrow's dinner as a female comic yourself. How, how big of a deal is this? I mean, I know she's not really making that point of it a, a big deal. Um, the last woman was Wanda Sykes. I believe it was in 2009. Um, and, and, you know, it will be interesting to see how she does. She's not a stand-up comedian. She comes from an improv background. But as you know, she hosted Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live for a couple seasons there. So she definitely, you know, she's going to bring it. Um, we'll see how she does. And it's a real, like, like Ronan said, it's a really tough room to play. I mean, you are making fun of the president who's sitting just feet away from from you and if you go too far you could bomb in the room but you could crush outside of the room and, and it's a particularly funny president too she talked about that a lot it's daunting for comics it's daunting i know from talking to a lot of people on the speech writing team for for comic speech writers too his timing is so good and his notes yeah. on jokes are often so good so she's got her work cut out for her and i would just say on on the track record of women at this dinner we talked about that a lot and you know we ran through the list elaine boozler paula poundstone wanda sykes and she said well you know i just consider my being there a victory for the straights. For once, the straights get something. <laughs> I think we're 50-50 now on that track record. You know, I've got to tell you, it, you, be careful with trying to have fun at the president's express because he gets comes right back at you. My yeah. hair dye uh, is still suffering from when I told him that he looked older <laughs> than I did. That was a great moment, Jose. And then, boom, right into my hair dye. It hurt me in a very funny way, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he'll get the final word, too, you know, so he'll he'll have an opportunity to come back. I'll be interested to see if he has any new material. He has some favorite topics Always he likes does. to joke about. Yeah, the old stuff, the classics, joking about John Boehner's tan and uh, the birth certificate thing. So I'm interested to see if he has anything new to say. I'm, ex- I'm hoping he'll say some stuff about uh, 2016, hey. maybe make some jabs at Hillary Clinton. We'll see. And it's always interesting to see what serious issues are lurking in the background. Of course, there was the famous 2011 speech where the bin Laden raid was that night. He had just ordered it. And it's fascinating to watch his reactions to bin Laden jokes. You know, Seth Meyers mentions bin Laden, and he's got some interesting looks in response to it because he knew what was happening. Hey, uh, Ronan, I'm digging your glasses. I'm thinking I'm going to say thank you, sir. Thank you to Elahi and Ronan. Uh, Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to see you guys there tomorrow night. See you down there, Jose.